got wind, you've got sleep. This is about being up for it in these conditions, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think we're forecast rain for the whole game. So uh, there'll be a bit of zip out on the pitch, but that should help us move the ball a bit quicker. Um, and if we can move the ball quicker than their back line can move, there'll be gaps that appear to the ball. Yeah, it's a role model, isn't it, I guess, for that reason. It's, he's a... Uh, it leads by example. This is Corinthian Casuals. They go from centre all the way to the far post. Oh, there's a shot there from the full back on the half volley. And it, it was almost going in the top corner and MJ had to parry out into corner. And I tell you what, Michael, that, was, that wasn't that was really planned from number two. Who was it? It was uh, Jack Tucker. And uh, Jack Tucker, yes, thanks, Robbie. And Jack Tucker just sort of semi-volleyed that wonderful cross from left to right. And it was just that would have gone in, though. If that had gone in, you could argue that that didn't look like a Dennis Bergkamp did he and maybe just yeah. he, he connected right and it looked good here at this point they're just really using their nice ball comes in David Noble gets there gets his head to it comes to the edge of the box what a strike whoa Corinthian casuals that looked like MJ just left it but that looked close to me Michael so I think it's John Goddard who's in there it is Johnny goes with lovely curly ball it goes all the way it's punched by the goalkeeper lovely cross in there there's a few Saints players going for that it's a throw in so good pressure by the Saints Lovely ball in by Johnny Goddard and he's headed out by Corinthian Casuals and great, great defending again. Tom tries to hook it back into the pass post. Mitchell Vice is there, he's cleared off the line and he goes for a throw. Lovely ball by Excellentia. Johnny Goddard plays that ball in from the byline but he comes back out to Mitchell Vice. He's trying to get possession. It's right. into Sean Jeffers. He gets round the goalkeeper. He shoots, he comes in and he's headed down. And that, I think, was Zane Banton. I'm not quite sure, Michael. Was it Zane Banton there? Yeah. And that was an opportunity. Wow, Sean he gets the ball from Mitchell. And then he turns. I'm thinking he's going to shoot, but he chips it up. Zane Banton gets his head, but two defensive players from Corinthian. Corner ball. Yeah, that's, that's not as a direct result of us crossing the ball, but... Mitch has won the ball back really well there. Sean has gone round the goalkeeper, but again, good defending from the Corinthians uh, back line. Now the Saints managed to defend and get that second ball, as Michael was talking about. Callum Adebayi gets his head to it. He comes to Zane. He manages to just get control. He plays a nice, tidy ball into David Noble, who goes all the way to Mitchell Vice, who's on his own. He gets to the halfway line. He's got a couple of players around him. Mitchell Vice is on the attack. He's going. He's trying to get in the box. He does. He takes it round one or two players. He tries to play it in. And the ball is defended, blocked, and he's gone for a throw in for the Saints. To say, you've been there before when you've been in these conditions. What sort of thing do you think he'd be saying? Uh, I think he'll just be sort of rectifying the, the problems that are coming up. I think in possession we're actually doing okay and creating chances. Ball comes it. through to Sean Jeffers, he shoots. Oh, lovely ball through by David Noble. Sean Jeffers was on the right hand side coming into the penalty box. The first time he's had the chance to run, he did shoot. He looked like it was a feminist shot and he went over the crossbar. And he looks like there's going to be an added minute here. We're coming up to the fourth, 45th minute. Six metres more than we want right into the York Road end on the Clarence Park end. And the only thing is, in these conditions, coming up to half time, you're going to have about 11 players around with one radiator, right, in the dressing room. Yeah, to be fair, it's boiling hot in there. I was, is I was it? quite glad to get out and get some fresh <laughs> air. So uh, I'm sure they'll. Then embrace that now as they go back inside. And there we go. So that's half time down at Clarence Park. The uh, rain is just coming down in bucket loads. And it's currently St Alban City nil, Corinthian Casuals nil in this FA Cup fourth qualifying round replay. Central midfield, like for like. Yeah, I, th I think David might be just feeling a, a niggle from Saturday, maybe. Um, it, it's always tough for him to play Saturday, Tuesday. And we kick off there, Michael. So this is Corinthian Casuals on the attack. They're just going uh, into the York Road end as we speak. And uh, be equal, right? That's all we ask for, isn't it? Yeah, and, uh, and this ref does that. What I like about him is that he, he lets play go on. Oh, Hugh Dawson has shot! Oh my gosh, Hugh Dawson has just scored! An absolute cracker from about 35 yards. He picked the ball up behind the midfield and in front of the defence. The Saints players go ballistic into the crowd. And what a strike from young Hugh Dawson. He's just come on at half-time for David Noble and he had a horrendous touch which we didn't really speak about but he just looked at that ball took a couple of steps he lashed that ball into the top corner and that is 1-0 St Albans City it's in with 
uh, David Noble and that is just an incredible strike De well deserved oh they're in the back post at the moment and Michael Johnson gets the ball Alex Langshire thought it was going over but that full back again what's his name Jack Tucker he came in but MJ managed to get the ball and this is the thing Michael Corinthian casuals will be dangerous they will go for a goal the Saints need to build on that wonderful strike from Hugh Dawson direct and they can't counter attack and uh, for me, Michael, I still I still see a goal in Corinthian casuals. I think they've got a nice move. And oh, they're through the middle now as I speak. And they shoot. And oh, he's just missed it. He's gone wide by a foot. And Corinthian casuals just opened up the Saints defence. Lack of concentration. Tom and Callum are saying, what is going on? And uh, the number eight got inside the box. He shot. I thought he was going in the bottom left-hand corner. And he went on the other side of the post. MJ couldn't do anything. That's how dangerous they can be you're going to do he's looking for options lovely ball into Mitchell Weiss who plays it back into Zane Zane carries the ball he's on the edge of the box he's got a few Corinthian casual players around he's on the edge of the box as we speak he's looking for options comes back to you Dawson what's he going to do is he going to strike he isn't oh lovely ball into Johnny Goodhand Mitchell Weiss tries to get in there just a reverse pass and Mitchell couldn't get there the goalkeeper collects for Corinthian and they're on the attack Michael but good build up play ball into Johnny Goddard but he loses out probably thinking about the challenge he had earlier and this is Mitchell Weiss he manages to win the ball back it comes to Joy McKenna who's quite advanced he's looking to curl the ball in he does and he's headed out over the crossbar here ball comes in Johnny Goddard high and long he comes to the post back post there he's just bubbled around again and Corinthian managed to get a foot on him he comes to Tom Bender he tries to crash the ball in he's headed back out by Corinthian comes to oh you Dawson tries a strike again Michael well, he plays it back to Michael Johnson Michael Johnson distributes high and long first kick he's looking for Sean Jeffers just too short for Sean so the ball comes back in and Alex Langshire manages to get it to you Dawson in central mid he goes high and long and there's a runner look at that lovely ball over the top of Mitchell Weiss he's in the box he's one on one with the goalkeeper oh. oh what a save by the Corinthian Casuals goalkeeper Mitchell Weiss could have made it 2-0 what a wonderful ball from Hugh Dawson he went high and long got the ball over the back of the defence Mitchell Weiss was in there and uh, he just hit it against and the goalie stood up tall and just parried off his arm this is the sense still on the attack though but no Joy McKenna's been intercepted they've had a few chances but they've lost their pattern of play a little bit oh number 11 is in oh he's got an opportunity he shoots he scores it's 1-1 one, one. Corinthian casuals have just scored a long high ball into this side he went around Joy McKenna Corinthian casuals are back into this game with about eight minutes left plus injury time and that was a well worked goal a sort of sloppy uh, concentration there from the Saints defence to think Sean Jeffers steps up Sean Jeffers shoots and it's way over the wall and the bar and yeah I mean Sean Jeffers is slightly led back there maybe he had too, time, too much time to think hopefully going forwards beyond today um, he continues to develop as he has done crossed by Dave Deju Zane Banton tries to get this a shot by Carrie Roger oh. he's hit the post he's hit the post and oh that's another opportunity the Saints from the tag Zane Banton's in there he shoots oh Zane Banton has just hits it off a defender he's gone for a Saints corner and the crowd goes absolutely berserk and oh Kyron Wilshire the goalkeeper actually parried it onto the post Michael onto the uh, cross the T-frame of the crossbar and Zayn followed you thought he was in he was going to slot it in good defending by Corinthian and it looks like Johnny Goddard's here and what an opportunity there Michael uh, going to come back out the other side for, uh, for Corinthians to get across and open up but um no, it came to nothing in the end. Wow, that is it. It is full time down at Clarence Park. Now, we're going to have extra time, so stay with us on Radio Verulam. As, uh, as it finished there um, in normal time, I, I think we, we should be OK here. I mean, you've got to give full credit to Corinthian Casuals. They're a league beneath, and they have... They haven't been outstanding as a football team, but they've kept themselves in this game as Alex Langshire goes bombing down the left-hand side and he's just looking for options. So hopefully now he can get round the side. He's trying, the youngster's trying to get round the back and he manages to just sort of skip and back around the Corinthian Castles player who's sort of got possession, but they're using a lot of physique. There's a screen there for a foul. The ref gives nothing. Corinthian Casuals are now on the attack. They're skipping past Kieran Wilshire. They're going for it. Their bench is on their feet. They've got a few players who are going down the right-hand side. They get across to try to. Callum Adebay just clocks that out. That again, Michael, is end-to-end -end stuff. 
But Karen Wilshire tidies it up there with Zayden Mitchell. It comes into Callum Adebayi, who's more advanced now. He plays it down to John Goddard, who's on the far side. He chips a lovely ball in. Comes to Mitchell Vice, gets his head oh. to it. Oh, we thought he was going into the far corner, but the goalkeeper just guessed and dived. It was an easy, easy save in the play. And this is the opportunity here for Corinthian Casual just to clear the lines. It does come out. Alex Lancia is there to try and block and jockey. And Corinthian Casual's at the moment, Michael. They're looking tired. Maybe I'll... Uh, eat my word shortly but this is Mitchell Mitchell's on the attack he's being played in he's in the box he's coming to the byline he plays it over but there's no Saints player there beautiful play by Mitchell Weiss Zane Banton and Sean Jeffers were missed that's a good close down though by Hugh Dawson Zane Banton on the edge of the area Zane crosses a lovely ball in but it's headed out by Corinthian Casuals comes back to Zane so he needed it a little bit higher Zane's gone long he's going direct he's in the box he's running he shoots he shoots he saved the ball comes back into Mitchell Weiss Sean Jeffers gets there the goalkeeper's on the ground players are everywhere the ball's in a goal mouth strangle and the referee has given a free kick and oh Michael is it going to be our night three or four opportunities to make it 2-1 oh Hugh Dawson supports plays a lovely ball in but it's blocked nice idea from Hugh Dawson but this is where Corinthian have got the ball now they're just playing back to go along oh good interception from Mitchell Vice it's halfway in. Corinthians half but he loses possession again it's a bit sloppy, Michael, because the surface and obviously tired legs, but this is Corinthian trying to build an attack and uh, they go wide again and uh, it looks like that. That's actually 15 minutes up. That's the first half of extra time down here finished. It's still 1-1. Focus on the task at hand and, and trying to see this game off uh, in the next 15 minutes, second half of the time. Sean Jeffers plays it into uh, Zane Banton. It comes back to Alex Langshaw. So the Saints seem to have lots of energy still. Callum Adebay is using the ball, plays it into uh, Joy McKenna, who's central defence in for the uh, injured Tom Bender. We've not heard anything about uh, Tom's injury just yet, but we will hopefully at some point, and uh, hopefully it's not too serious. McKenna's on the move now. He's moving forward. He plays David De Gea on the far side. David's going to play it into Johnny Goddard. He finds him on the box, plays a lovely ball in between him and Sean. He comes into David De Gea, he shoots it, and he goes over the bar. And Oh, maybe he was thinking about that equaliser on Saturday. Numbers in the box. This is a ball comes in. Oh, he misses Joy, McK uh, Joy McKenna's head and a lovely cross there. But Callum Adebay has got the ball there at the moment and he brings it back into Karen. Karen uses his body. He's on the edge of the box. What can he do with it? He's looking for options. He plays it back to Zane. Zane's quite central. Zane goes for the short and oh, he kept it low and hard, which is exactly what he should be doing. But the Corinthian Casuals goalkeeper got that ball right to Zane Banton. Zane Banton's on the ball. He chips it down the line to Liam Salt. Oh, Liam Salt's taken out. Surely the ref gives nothing and this is Corinthian Casuals. They're on the move and it comes into the middle but Joy McKenna steps in and that was a dirty challenge. Surely there, Michael. And there we go. It is full time at Clarence Park after extra time. It is 1-1. We are going to penalties. Stay with us on Radio Verulam. This player and this is the first penalty, five penalties each, then it's sudden death, number 12, steps up, he hits the ball, he shoots, it's 1-0 Corinthian casuals, they went up first, so it's 1-0 Corinthian casuals, and I think it was Nathaniel uh, Penny, I think it was, who scored that, and uh, MJ dived to the left, and he slotted beautifully to the right. Less games, I think, or right. just as many games, but yes, something ridiculous. Uh, he is a goal scorer. Sean's just composed himself. He steps back, hands on his hips. The goalkeeper's trying to make movements on the line. Sean just needs to compose. He steps up, he shoots. Beautiful slot into the middle of the right hand side of the net. The goalkeeper dived, but he wasn't to the standard required to stop Sean Jeffers. The ball was executed superbly well. Power, pace, and curl. Goalkeeper had no chance, Michael. Four Corinthian casuals is stepping up, and uh, I better sit down because actually Robbie's trying to put this on a live cam. So uh, yeah, good job, Robbie, and uh, Robbie can uh, you can let us know where we can find that very shortly. But number four steps up, he takes a run, he shoots. Oh, yes! he has scored a goal. He's safe, I should say. Oh, Michael Johnson. He went to the left, and the number four for Corinthian casuals was Ari Williams. He sort of didn't take the run up and he sort of curled it into the bottom at the left of Michael Johnson's net and he guessed perfect Michael and the reaction if you'd seen it on the cam, Michael uh, Clark did, he jumped through the booth, wow, we said it earlier, he's our lethal weapon when it comes to uh, penalties, perfect Michael and the reaction if you'd seen it on the cam, Michael uh, Clark did, he jumped through the booth, wow, we said it earlier, he's our lethal weapon when it comes to uh, penalties. Yeah, excellent save, went the right way, made no mistake.
Johnny Goodard is about to step up. He does. He shoots. Johnny Goodard makes it 2 1 to St. Albans City in the penalty shootout at the FA Cup for a qualifying round replay. He went down the middle of the net, and technically, he's an outstanding player, though, isn't he, Michael? Yeah, it's rare for players to go down the middle in a, in a penalty shootout. You, you only really see that uh, in 90 minutes, but great penalty from Johnny. You only really see that uh, in 90 minutes, but great penalty from Johnny. Um, yeah. Give him the keep of the eyes there. So this is the goal scorer for this is Benjamin Checklet. He steps up, number 11. He equalised for Corinthian Casuals. MJ's moving on the line. He shoots. Oh, MJ nearly got his hand to it. He did score. He went into the bottom left-hand side of MJ's net, and MJ got there, Michael. He just couldn't stop it and keep it out. Currently 2-2. Romeo Akinola stepping up to be the third penalty taker for uh, St Albans City. So St Albans City at 2-2 at the moment, but Corinthian Casuals have missed one. So Michael Johnson saved to his bottom left. So this is Romeo Akinola stepping up. It looks like he's going to be his left foot. He takes a long step. What can he do, Michael? Can he do? He switches to his right. He just jockeys. He stops. Oh, and he scores! He makes it 3-2. St Albans City, and I tell you what, Michael, I didn't think that was going in. That no, was too relaxed. Yeah, that really did worry me, that. But um, oh. interesting run-up. He took his time. Um, yeah, confident run-up. The keeper was flat-footed in the end. Maybe that was as a result of the uh, overextended run-up. Oh, Corinthian casuals have missed one. They've scored two, so this is their fourth. The Saints have scored all three, which was Jeffers. Goddard and Romeo Akinola. What can MJ do? Number seven steps up. He shoots. MJ oh, has oh, saved oh. it. Yes, he saved it. That is currently 3 2 to St Albans City. Say. Two penalties have been saved by Michael Johnson. That means Corinthian casuals have one penalty left. And that means that if Zane Banton scores this, Michael, it's down to Zane Banton because the Saints have two penalties left. Corinthian casuals have one. It's currently 3-2 to St Albans City. And I tell you what, that man, we predicted it, Michael. Michael Johnson, two beautiful saves. That went to his right. This is Zane Banton. Can he win it for the Saints? Come on, Zane. He's on the edge of the area. He goes left. He steps up. Right foot. He shoots. Yes, and St Albans City are in. It is 4-2 on penalties. Zane Banton makes it. The Saints players rush to Zane and MJ. That is St Albans City through to the FA Cup first round proper. We are delighted in the media booth.